Right. For the first time in two years, football feels and looks a little bit more like it did before COVID-19. But there are still real concerns tonight as this summer surge continues across central Indiana. In fact, just today, Indiana reported more than 4,100 new COVID cases. That's the highest number we've seen since the beginning of this year. So tonight for our big story, we're going to show you how the numbers this football season compared to last year and the precaution fans and schools are taking and others are not as this high school football season gets underway tonight. Football season has officially started and some schools like Avon High School have decided to get rid of COVID-19 restrictions, but that hasn't stopped some fans from protecting themselves and others. Avon High School football fans are excited to pack these stands to full capacity once again. Last season, seating was limited because of COVID-19 and fans were wearing masks. This year, there are no restrictions. The only permanent COVID-19 change is ticketing this season. It's mostly digital. Avon High School freshman Jocelyn Kaikendall says this is how it should be. It was a real bummer. Like, it just didn't feel right having the restrictions with the game because it's not what it's about. You're supposed to be here all together watching the game, not six feet apart, not talking to each other or anything. Just excited to see the team back. We're glad that we could come back to the games and just ready to have a good time. Although the school might be trying to get back to pre-COVID days, Kristen Vaughn says she's proceeding with caution. That's why she and her family brought their masks tonight and did their best to social distance. Because the other numbers that are starting to rise again, we just want to make sure we keep ourselves safe as well as the kids safe. And you know, even though I have been vaccinated, my husband been vaccinated, our kids are, haven't been yet. So we want to to make sure that we keep everybody safe and that we're not contributing to the rising numbers. And although Kaikendall is excited to enjoy a normal football season, she's taking her health in her own hands. There's a lot of concerns because, you know, COVID is still around. In my backpack, I have some hand sanitizer. I try to stay safe in every way possible. Not every school district has ditched these COVID precautions. In fact, IPS has capped attendance at 50%. Masks are recommended, not required. Athletes have to sign a COVID risk acknowledgement form. Some other schools like Warren Central have gone to online ticket sales only. That way they can keep track of attendance. Others like Shenandoah High School had to cancel their football games because of COVID. But the IHSAA is doing what it can to make sure those athletes are safe. We've learned now within a year that we're not going to have a magic date that, that COVID goes away. Well, the commissioner went on to say they're still recommending masks and not allowing handshakes at the end of the game. Let's go ahead and compare the number of COVID cases this football season to last year. First of all, this red line here is the seven day average of COVID cases across the state of Indiana. Right now we're averaging almost 3000 cases every day. Now I want to go ahead and compare to the same days last year using this blue line. Now you can see we've been following a very similar trend until we get right here. This is July 27th. That's when COVID cases really began exploding across the state of Indiana. In fact, right now we're averaging almost three and a half times more COVID cases this year than we were one year ago. In fact, last year we didn't even hit 3000 COVID cases until the beginning of November, which is well into the playoffs of football season. Now it's important to note that current CDC data shows there is little risk of catching COVID-19 outside, but people who are not vaccinated should still wear a mask at a crowded event. Fully vaccinated people might want to do the same thing if they're high risk or live with someone who has a compromised immune system. And that wraps up tonight's big story.